Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So this is an energy of a turn of events, a, a, pos a positive turn of events, something that is happening unexpectedly, but it's happening in your favor. So let's see. We have the Knight of Wands, fire energy, the Nine of Swords in the reverse, air energy, and the Eight of Cups, water energy. So it, it does look like it's possible that someone could be resurfacing in your life. This is someone who you felt abandoned you or someone you felt like you had to abandon with the Eight of Cups. You could have walked away from them. This could be someone who put a lot of stress on you. You know, with the Nine of Swords, you, you may have been very stuck on this person for a long time. If they walked away, you could have been losing sleep over them, wondering if they would return. And, you know, it's like you finally reached a point where you don't, stress about the situation anymore with the nine of swords in the reverse it's like you're not worried about this person anymore and then suddenly they 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 come back you know because with the knight of wands that's someone who could be in and out of your life hot and cold and they're coming back this time around but it seems like they don't really have the the hold on you that they once had so there's this feeling of you having some sort of advantage or upper hand in the situation so let's clarify these cards So we have the devil in the reverse, and this is Capricorn energy. So this return of this person is really going to show you that they, they, this person doesn't have that influence anymore. There's this feeling of you freeing yourself from them, releasing the situation, taking back your power. Okay, so let's see. We have the Ace of Cups, Water Energy, the Page of Cups, Water Energy, and the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy. Yeah, it, this person is going to try to initiate a new beginning with you. They may want to apologize for something. They may even want to have a healthier beginning with you with the devil in the reverse. Um, but it does look like you may be standing your ground or upholding your boundaries, uh, changing the way in which you deal with this person. But there's this feeling of the tables have turned and they are wanting you to accept their offer. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. Taurus. Okay, we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Yeah, this situation is quite different this time around. This is also someone who is willing to make changes. Okay, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this person can't, they can't be without you. They feel very pulled towards you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have anticipation. I felt like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, we have surrender stubbornness. If you're tenting up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. 
Okay, so this is definitely someone who will be shooting their shot towards you. Um, they they are going to kind of lower their guard. You may have a very high guard towards this person, but this is someone who will make you some sort of a love offer. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.